All right, I just ground down all the edges to make it all nice and ready for welding. And I just noticed I forgot here and here. So I'll do that just then, just in a sec. But yeah, you can see I've ground them all back and that'll be like that. And then I'll weld that metal piece on afterwards. I'll cut that to size and grind it all back as well. So now I just grind those and then weld it all up. Well, guys, I cut the um, thing I'm got this little exercise crappy thingy. So I just cut off one length of it and made my new motor mount. I was going to use the old one, but um, just didn't work. Um, yeah, it just wasn't going to work properly. and <clears throat> wasn't very good or strong anyway, so I just cut up this. I haven't welded it yet because um, I don't have a grinding disc to grind it all flat and grind all the black paint off, but I'm going to go to Bunnings soon and get one. Um, so this piece here will go there if that was straight and go across there and that arm will go. Yeah, it'll sit like it looks something like that. So then, um, then I'll weld this, which is the bit of a base I just cut off. And that'll weld like that. And then the engine will just mount like that. And then drill, um, two holes, two holes, two holes, two holes. And then they'll bolt in here, but I'll just do slits so this can move a little bit. Just make slits with the grinder. Um, I got that piece on the engine, that's like as far as it will go on, which is not very far, but it's enough, um, it's, it's not going to come off, so I just got to, um, I got to sort of file this back a little bit, because the clutch doesn't fit on, so it's slightly too big, like, fits on a little bit, but doesn't slide on nicely, so I'm just going to file that back or sand it back a little bit. So I'll just show you where I cut the bottom out of the mower. So that's the bottom. And I just cut it out like that. And um, so now I'll just go to Bunnings and get a grinding disc and make all these flat and then grind off the paint, black paint, and then um, weld them. So yeah, I'll have this up by another couple of hours. I'll have all this on the go-kart, so. It's, the major thing is just getting that clutch on because I just have to file it out and stuff so it might take a while but I'll work on that now and then go to Bunnings later so yeah well guys it's 6.45 and I've just finished um so it's all mounted well it's not um bolted to the cart yet I have to drill the holes but I'm not going to do them now um so I'm just too, too tired but I'll do it tomorrow um so, here it is. So that steel sheeting is welded on there. I've got to weld it on a little bit more, but I just can't see now, so I'm not going to weld it on now. Um, that clutch doesn't just slide on like I hoped. Um, it does go on, but I need to bash it. So, um, yeah, it will go on. Just getting it off is a trick. Um, but, yeah. So, I'll... I'll bolt that on tomorrow that'll probably take me an hour and that sort of rests on there so it doesn't need to be that strong because it just just rests on there which is good and I still got enough clearance for my pull starter so it's not getting jammed and um to pull start I just Rip it that way, that won't be um, such a hard thing. Once it's bolted down, I'll be able to pull start it. And uh, I haven't made the tank mount yet, but that'll mount. 
um, like that. It's hard to see when it's all black. And it's at night time, but that'll mount somewhere to the seat there. Um, something like that, yeah. And I'll probably just make up a steel bracket that will mount onto the seat here. And then just loop over and then I'll... Uh, uh, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Might even just chop that off. And um, just plastic weld this to the seat. Well, not plastic weld it, but... Um, just plastic, you know, stick that into there and have chop it down there. <clears throat> so yeah, that shouldn't be too hard, um, but that will take me some time to mount. But yeah, it's looking awesome. It's a little bit bigger than my old engine. I'll just put the old engine next to it for a comparison. So the old one is a little bit smaller, and that one just looks so much more awesome. 